Jonathan Tucker here on The Rich Eisen Show. And again, you're one of my favorite guests, uh, despite the fact that I do believe the first or maybe second time you appeared on this show, you took a Yankee hat and mocked- A shirt. Was it a shirt? Yeah, it's in a your shirt dressing room. In the dressing room and mocked flushing it down the green room toilet. <laughs> yeah, well- Or did you mock it or uh, did that's you- That's what I was going to say, it cut right before you would yeah, find I remember out it or just not. just cut right out. Right. Um, yeah, it's a terrible team. We've talked about it every time I come on here. And you, TJ, your 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 friend here on the show, asked yes. me backstage. He said, "Would you rather the Patriots get to the Super Bowl and win?" Yes. And I was like, "Of course, that's the the answer." Or I was yes. like, "Nope, the first one." Or the Patriots get to the Super Bowl and lose, but yes. the Yankees don't win a World Series championship for the next decade. And I was like, "Oh Ooh. boy, you really knew how to get me." Of course, the latter. Because nothing is better than being from Boston and nothing is better than subscribing to a famous Boston cheer, which is Yankees suck. So even when you win another sport, another game in another sport, mm -hmm. the fans are still standing up cheering Bob Lobel and Yankees suck. Well, you know what, Jonathan, <laughs> I find that particularly galling yeah. um, and sad. We're a classy town. You know, no, it's, I, find it, <laughs> I find it sad, but I also find it typical. Sure. Because, Basic. No, no, here's what's typical. Uh-huh is that a sports fan normally just deep down just the basic concept of being a sports fan surrounds love love for team love for yeah. city just i love this you team. need a good I love evil this. empire excuse me sorry it's your show no no it's not that it's my show it is no, true no, no. It's right now it's, it's our right show there. right now it's our show <laughs> even though you do you, we, we do sometimes need to remind people what the show is called here on the rich eyes he's not even paying attention over there don't worry mike it's okay the drop about what the name of the show is <laughs> mike you have that this is the rich eisen show oh my gosh <laughs> nailed it but love, love of team, love of city, love of sure, player. Grew sure, up loving sure. that guy. Lo yeah. Grew up loving that gal. Love, love, and yet for Boston sports fans yeah. in particular, we even hate our own team. You're not happy. <laughs> you're is. not happy unless you're unhappy yeah. about something. But I will say, and we've talked you, about this guy before. Gary Vaynerchuk talks about how he's like, when the Jets do end up winning, he's yeah. like, I don't know where I'll be. And I do right. feel that way a little bit about, I mean, I really love the Patriots continuing to win the Super Bowl, but the Sox, mm. I mean, that first series, that first time when we got, what was it, 2004? Right. I mean, that was just, I mean, it was elation. Like I have never felt for a sports franchise. No, no and I understand that winning and then I was while like, beating your rival in that, the process right. and destroying them and leaving them in a, 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 a heap of ashes. Yes. I totally understand why that would add to yeah. the excitement. Yeah. And I understand the concept of spite. But when given the choice, can I be elated to the utmost of elation that my team, despite already having six in the case, can win a seventh. That you, because sports is about greed, mm -hmm. it is to use the phrase of one Gordon Gecko, good, and mm -hmm. to use the phrase again, how many yachts can you water ski behind? Like from Wall Street, the answer is more. I get it. But for you to say no, no to that ultimate elation, I would rather get disappointed right. at the end of a journey that I look over the steering wheel and hope to end with happiness. I would rather be disappointed if it means my hated team from New York is just as disappointed. And to me, that's sad. It's sad, Jonathan Tucker. In every part of my life, Rich, yeah. it's about not looking in the rearview mirror. It's about not concerning myself with what the competition is. It's about creating my own happiness and finding a sense of self-satisfaction mm -hmm. in whatever I'm doing. Okay. In the world of Boston sports, mm -hmm. that is not the case for me. <laughs> and I love, I will cut my team down as long as I can in, in the process of knowing mm -hmm. that the New York Yankees um, are being harmed. I'll harm myself. Mm. Where did this come from? Where did that it start? O two one two nine, the People's Republic of Charlestown, nurse cradled and reared in a city that has sixty two public or sixty two colleges and universities. Okay, that is the beacon of America, the Athens of the world, the cradle of the revolution, the mm -hmm. reason why this whole country was founded. On the eighteenth of April in seventy five, hardly a man is now alive to remember that famous day and year, the midnight ride of Paul Revere. 
This is a town that built this country and has put a light out of democracy to the rest of the world. And as long as the Yankees lose, we're going to be happy. Ah, I mean, ah, well, you're standing. You're standing. Thank you. I don't Thank think you. I've ever heard a better speech. You left out the you left out the duck boats. That's true. Quack quack. <laughs> they're in storage right now. And yeah, don't worry, they're going to be out in February. You hope. <laughs> you ready for Mookie Betts to get traded though? Yeah. <laughs> How was that? Good job, Rich. Yep. Boy, see, I've got a bona fide grade A actor thespian <laughs> right here where yep. you cannot get thrown off your game. You just gave me that stare <sighs> right down the pipe right there. Because you know Mookie Betts is going, right? It's, he's it's, he's it's, out the it, door. It, we got plenty of uh, tools in our, in our tool box. Mm -hmm. There's no flustering this man. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.